still inside. Just to show you guys that there's actually nothing here. Now he will be pulling back. Tyrus from Fnatic are still flashing outside to see here what Joker and his teammates can do. Bomb will once more be planted in that smoke. Very, very easy way to come in there and plant that. But Scream right now is showing why he has been picked up by Barry Games. Picking up the double kill, holding it from that sniper spot. And he can go for the third one. He does pick up Trace. Could go fourth one as well, but Joker and Freeze will be playing this one out smartly. Let's see if they can hold it. Oh, looks like... The fuse is coming in, though. Kenny is, is on the bomb, and he will have time enough to get, get that fuse in. And Scream picks up his fourth, and actually the fifth one for Scream! <laughs> Scream! Five frags taking Fnatic apart, and with those five frags, the score will be... <laughs> Currently just stabilizing here. Getting control over everything. Smith trying his luck, but not really getting anything out of it. We do have one uh, one man advantage here for the terrorists. A Danish terrorist, that is. The question is, can they utilize that to get the round win? Fairy Games are um, still doing exactly what they need to in this situation. Despite being a man down, and especially on CT side, being man down is even more... Uh, even more of a disadvantage, but they're doing the right things and just sitting back and holding as passively as they need to. Uh, but you've got people like Smith, all in very aggressive position, but still hidden, and, and Scream as well. He's going to have some action here. Takes on one and the second, so that's great play from Scream there. Let's see here if they can make any more out of it. Freeze with the double, though, coming in with the AWP action. Right now, he has to take out uh, either Kenny S or Existence to get this bomb down to open it up for Ritter. And Existence is actually coming in from behind. Okay. His freeze, the former 1.6 legend. Let's see here what Barricades can do to stop him and the guys from Fnatic to do damage. And Scream is probably the guy they're going to play out. Freeze just missed kind of an easy shot. And the second one, not the greatest of uh, scenarios right now for the Dane. And there's Scream once more showing why he is picked up by uh, the best Counter Strike team in France, basically. And he just takes another three kills, and it's all left on to freeze now. But <laughs> five HP, one v four. That's not going to happen past uh, matches or rounds in this match. So let's see here if they can turn the table around and maybe even win around here. Actually, existence will dodge that opening shot. And now Scream makes his way on the back alley once more. Scream! Oh, wow. I don't even know how he does it. Scream is so good right now. And the third frag with the nade as well. Yeah, this guy is wow. insane. I don't even know. I, I'm having serious, serious doubts if NIP can beat Very Games on this uh, Thursday in ESEA. Needing four measly rounds to win this one. Can they pull it back? I reckon uh, this pistol round is going to be very important. Yeah. It's definitely going to be very important. Right now, Rita and the guys starting things off. Smith and Scream bouncing back with a couple of kills here. And great from Scream. One, two, three. Headshot comes out of him. And that is the final headshot from Smiths, just dismantling the entire Fnatic lineup. Three big kills coming out of Scream there. Three big headshots, and that seems to be the only thing that Scream. Yeah, Fnatic missed their train over the <laughs> the humanity. But yeah, that is very true. Right now, we do see a one-man advantage though in favor of Fnatic as Smith is taking out. But Freeze has to do good damage here at the back alley. Oh, Scream will take him out with a grenade. And let's see another great kill coming in from Scream. This guy's just unstoppable at the moment. Joking in a good position with those stoolies. If the, if the Terrors want to go in... 100% fully aware of it at this point in time. Only 25 seconds remaining as well for them to really get anything done. It's going to be a B split. Scream in a car. He doesn't get checked. Well, he does, but he deals with the man. And the second man was completely relying on his teammate. And that might just cost him. Draken does trade one back, but... It's down to a two versus two. Retrieve bomb and orc from Scream. The timing's off there as well. And so it means, of course, but going to take a while. Oh, and another kill. Their confidence at an all time high. Everybody taking the wide swings, and it's just really catching Gamer Legion off guard. Scream. Nice find by him, but a three versus three still. Heavily in favor in terms of the HP. Oh, ancient, but Scream doing the work. Picks up two. All right, out of nowhere. Pulls it into a three versus one, and he will find all four. Scream stepping up. He's looked so good with the pistols recently. Hampus comes in with the kit and is like, let me have a piece of the pie. But all the same, Scream. That is his name indeed, Scriv. 
I mean, uh... Maybe the A hit working out for Gamer Legion. Perhaps, I mean, there is one in the pit, one on the bomb site, and then a player on long who can rotate around, but I was gonna say when you see Z on long, it's gonna be tough for Rusty. He's able to find one, it's Draco and this, uh, Draken and Disco Doppelan, rather, mixing up the names, putting them together into one. That do end up finding a frag each, leaving it all on the screen. Takes an instant dink, but still finds both of the frags. Took down Freddy in the background, dropped Rusty then as he continued on the spray. The bomb goes down. The one Molotov expended, the one piece of utility expended from Gamer Legion. Scream has been playing pretty damn well. This would be a hell of a round for him to steal away. It's certainly possible. Not oh, getting one quickly. Ooh, Scream peeking out, actually almost able to line them up at the door. Oh. Gets the second on the Disco Doppelan, and of course Rusty now on the bomb oh. site gets his head torn off by Scream. Who hits 34 on but some very one-sided maps. This is hella close right now. Plopski gonna find Hampus. Four versus two, but the B bomb site, it's open. The bomb goes down. The one Molotov expended. The one piece of utility expended from Gamer Legion. Scream has been playing pretty damn well. This would be a hell of a round for him to steal away. It's certainly possible. Gets one quickly. Ooh, Scream peeking out, actually almost able to line them up at the door. Oh. Gets the second on the Disco Doppelan, and of course Rusty now on the bomb oh. site gets his head. Watching Wait for that tail. side, they're looking to try and commit on towards B. But all of the CTs right now actually in position to try and defend this one. Yeah, they do manage to gain an advantage. At least for now. Creeping around, Fox finds one a second as well. Beautiful stuff. He will be left in the one versus one that Scream bests him in, actually. So there you go. There's your few cons. Dean Brown. We're going to be getting into the action pretty quickly here. It's a very fast hit from Gamer Legion. Repeat performance in. I believe he kicked it off 9-0. to zero. Can he step it up here on overpass again? Can he continue on with that performance from Dust 2? I mean, so far, his teammates are giving him a bit of assistance as well. Eventually, HS gets taken down by Draken. There is also Plopsky on this side of the map. Scream will be able to spot him as he peeks out, but it's a dangerous fight that he eventually three wins. Three weapons, of course, to favor on that T side. They're looking to try and commit on towards B. But all of the CTs right now actually in position to try and defend this one. Yeah, they do manage to gain an advantage. At least for now. Creeping around, Plopsky finds one a second as well. Beautiful stuff. He will be left in the one versus one that Scream bests him in, actually.